Ever wondered how crucial a company's capital structure can be? Ponder this. The way a company finances its operations, whether through debt, equity, or a combination of both, can significantly impact its profitability and risk profile. To dive deeper into this, let's explore the static trade-off theory, a cornerstone in the understanding of capital structure. The static trade-off theory is an influential financial theory, a brainchild of economists Modigliani and Miller back in the 1950s. This theory forms the basis of what is known as the capital structure irrelevance proposition. At its core, the proposition posits that, in an ideal world, the way a company chooses to finance its operations doesn't really matter. Why? Because the market value of a firm is predominantly determined by its earning power and the risk of its underlying assets. Now, you might be wondering, how does this work? According to Modigliani and Miller, a company's value is independent of its financing method and its investments. They proposed two propositions. Firstly, the capital structure is irrelevant to the value of a firm. Picture two identical firms. Their value would remain the same, unaffected by the choice of finance adopted to fund their assets. The value of a firm hinges on its expected future earnings, especially in a no-tax scenario. Secondly, financial leverage can increase the value of a firm and reduce its weighted average cost of capital, or WACC, when tax information is available. So what does the static trade-off theory mean for a company's capital structure? Well, since a company's debt payments are tax deductible, and taking out debt usually involves less risk than equity, debt financing initially appears cheaper than equity financing. This suggests a company can reduce its WACC by opting for a capital structure with more debt than equity. However, there's a catch. While increasing debt might potentially lower the WACC, it also escalates the risk to the company, somewhat balancing out the decrease in the WACC. The static trade-off theory, therefore, suggests a sweet spot, a mix of debt and equity, where the lowering WACCC counterbalances the escalating financial risk to the company. In essence, the static trade-off theory is a delicate balancing act, a dance between risk and reward, cost and benefit. It underscores the importance of a well-considered capital structure, one that takes into account both the potential advantages of debt financing and the inherent risks it carries.